Hello, I'm Alexis Tu, and I'll be talking about bulimia nervosa. What it is, what are its symptoms, and how do you get help? Do you know anyone who disappears after every meal? Like, every single meal. They're gone, they go to the bathroom, but they don't tell you what they do. This can be a sign of purging and bulimia, and it affects people of all ages. So what I want you to do is imagine that you're going to your favorite restaurant and you order your favorite meal. You're allowed to eat whatever you want. Your parents say, no limit. You can order whatever. So you do, and you get another meal because the person beside you orders spaghetti and you think it looks really good. You eat it and you feel super satisfied, but then the table next to you likes dessert and they order dessert and you're like, I want some of that. So you order dessert and you eat it all, but you're not done, you want more. So you eat another dessert and you feel super full and you're satisfied. But after a while, you start to feel guilty and you get these depressive thoughts. You're like, why did I eat that much? I'm such a pig, why am I so fat? So you discreetly get up to the bathroom and you go and purge yourself. Now you know what a person with bulimia goes through, and you can clearly and easier learn what it is. Bulimia includes binge eating, and this is when people eat a lot of foods over a short amount of time, and mostly they are high calorie foods, including hamburgers, fries, chips, ice cream, donuts. And binge eating leads to purging. According to Medline Plus, purging is the use of vomiting, vomiting or laxatives to prevent weight gain. And purging, there's a good story that goes along with this. If you guys have seen the movie To the Bones, it is on Netflix. It is a house full of people with EDs, eating disorders, and they're there to support each other. But one girl does have bulimia, and after dinner one time, she gets up, rushes from the table so her roommates can't help her, and she goes and purges her food. After purging, she doesn't feel better. She actually feels worse about herself, but it's just a habit that she gets into. It's very hard to break. So like the girl with the bulimia, many other people leave the dinner table, like I said earlier. This is a clear symptom of bulimia, but there are other noticeable symptoms. They include um, getting up and leaning, tooth erosion, and vomiting, and then a swollen jaw. So when people disappear after meals, they're most likely purging, but while they purge, the vomit has acids that can make their teeth turn yellow and it's not very good for your enamel, but there's also a swollen face, which is caused by salivary glands being um, just swollen because you're basically forcing sometimes your whole fist into your throat to try to just get rid of all the food that you ate. There are also unnoticeable symptoms of bulimia nervosa, where include many health problems and then abuse of medications. So sore throat is one of the health problems because like I said, you have a swollen salivary glands and just the acids and the vomit, it's not good for your throat, but it also causes kidney and intestinal problems, which is mainly caused by the use of laxatives and abusing medication People with bulimia, they can become drug addicts as well because they just keep using medications to try to find another way to get skinnier, another way to lose weight because they are never satisfied with their body image. But all these symptoms are treatable if you find help quick. Women's Health warns that in order to stop bulimia, you need to see the beginning signs and then get help as soon as you can. One way to find help is to call a doctor. It can be your family doctor or some doctor that a family recommends. So 
they will give you medication, proper medication, and they can also give you reliable resources like therapists. And the types of therapists that you'll see if you have bulimia, most likely nutritional and diet therapists because they will help you get back on track on your diet, eat healthier, eat regularly. And then you'll also have a talk therapist because bulimia is a very mental disorder and you need help talking through the depression that comes along with it. Now that you know how to stop bulimia, you can better understand and look for symptoms. So in conclusion, bulimia is a dangerous psychological disorder that affects people of all ages. Binge eating and purging are common factors of bulimia and they're probably the most recognizable. The symptoms are recognizable, but they are unnoticeable. So if you think that someone has bulimia, you should just closely watch them for a while before you call help, just to make sure it's actually bulimia. And then seeking help is very important. There are call help lines on websites and doctors are always there to help you. So remember that story about eating your favorite food? You don't want to start losing control. You want to be able to eat your favorite foods your whole life. But what would you do if you started overeating and your teeth started to erode, your face became swollen, and you started having depression and self-harmful thoughts? Life would be unbearable. So I encourage you to call a doctor and get help if you or anyone else has these symptoms. Thank you. Good job, good job. Feedback for Alexis. <laughs> Any thoughts?